this pattern uses short rows in order to create some shaping. So to make a short row, you just begin by working a stitch like normal. So each of the short rows starts with half double crochet stitches and ends in single crochet. So depending on what size you're doing, you will do a different amount, but I'm just going to start off here with four half double crochet and then three single crochet. So I've done my four half doubles. I'm going to do three singles. And then I'm going to chain one and turn my work. So I am not working the whole length of the row. I'm only working a short row. So now I'm going to work back across in the exact opposite. So I'm going to do three single crochet and then four half doubles. Again, depending on the size you make, your amount is going to be different, but it's the same concept. So now we're going to chain two and turn. We need to match up our short row to the rest of the, the row, but if we just went from this stitch to this stitch, it would give a leave a big gap. So instead, we are going to close that gap up with a linked stitch. So I'm going to work half double crochets all the way to the end of the short row. In this case, it's seven stitches. It was four half doubles and three singles. So four plus three equals seven. So now we are at the end of the short row. In order to link it, we are going to insert our hook into, lay that down for you. We're going to insert our hook into the same stitch you just worked, then the stitch from the row below, and then the first unworked stitch of the rest of the fabric. So insert your hook into the last stitch you just worked, yarn over and pull through. It gives you two loops on your hooks. Hook, insert the hook in the stitch below. I like to work under just the two loops and not the actual space and that gives you three loops on your hook. Now you're going to insert your hook into the first unworked stitch. Yarn over, pull through. That gives you four loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through the first two, leaving you three. Yarn over and pull through the remaining three. And that closes up that gap. So now you just continue to crochet half doubles all the way to the end and your row will look nice and neat.